A very good morning to everybody. My colleagues on the dais, Kumar, Suramu, Dr. Kiran, Ashok, colleagues here from DOT, from IIIT Hyderabad, ASNFA from DST, colleagues who have come from other parts of the country and abroad who are here today in the session. It's indeed a pleasure to welcome all of you. <clears throat> this is a unique moment for us, for India, in its journey to become a self-reliant country. Our Honorable Prime Minister has given the clarion call that we should be a fully developed nation by 2047 and moving towards that goal means a lot of things. One of the most important underlying levers to achieve that goal is to leapfrog in research and development. This conference today, yesterday, today and tomorrow, I must congratulate the Department of Science and Technology and all the other system ministries, DBT, CSIR, ICAR, METI, DOT, who have come together to remind us that the goal is lofty, the path is difficult, yet if we put our heads together, it will be a reality. The digital communication session marks the importance of communication technologies in this journey. Telecom has become an enabler of not only the economy, but of all technologies which are developing in various disciplines. The change is marked by rapid growth of artificial intelligence, and it heralds a new opportunity for all of us to achieve the impossible. India stands at a pivotal moment to be able to leave, leverage and leapfrog using these technologies in communications to spur the growth in a variety of sectors. We all know that telecom is a direct causation in the GDP growth because connectivity is the bedrock of any activity which is productive in nature. India has shown its prowess by one of the fastest 5G rollouts. Thanks to the vision of the Prime Minister, not just a 5G rollout, but the foresight to be able to use that technology for what it is, not just higher speeds, but use its other features of reliability and low latency through a network of 100 5G labs which have been established across the country. To develop use cases and to prepare us for the future as we look to a leadership position in 6G. This is a multi-pronged approach by supporting R&D, 
by encouraging and facilitating domestic manufacturing, creating bridges between academia, industry and government. An instance of that is today. We look forward that this August gathering through the panel discussions which will follow will be able to give us some insights on how to take the journey from 5G to 6G forward. The goals are ambitious. The Bharat 6G Alliance again pioneered in India by the vision of the Prime Minister has signed 10 international alliances with other 6G bodies with an aim to have at least 10% of the patents in 6G as it heralds its way into the world, into practical applications by 2030. Government is financing a lot of licenses, test beds, both in terahertz and in optical domain, and 100 R&D projects specially for 6G. Many projects are being done jointly by many agencies who are present here today, jointly and therefore collaboration is the hallmark of this effort. We look forward for a very healthy journey with ANRF under the RDI framework, which was launched by the Honorable PM yesterday, to strengthen commercial grade R&D through affordable financing. Our priorities include making spectrum available for 6G, advancing open RAN and indigenous chipset ecosystems, enabling the development and applications on AI and sensing to create intelligent, secure and resilient networks, creating the necessary ecosystem for regulatory sandboxes so that the fledgling companies can test their innovations, And these, we hope, will also figure in our discussions today in terms of how they can be improved, how, ca how can they be leveraged. This conclave, I am sure, will help us give us some concrete ideas as we pursue the aim of Atmirbhar Bharat and Viksit Bharat by 2047. As I said in the beginning, the journey and the end goal both matter. The journey looks difficult and the goal impossible, but I think we can make the journey worthwhile and the goal achievable. Thank you so much.